Today, we're going to be talking about a low-life, insecure human being that took the life of a, another person just because they reacted with a laughing emoji on their Facebook post. Absurd, I know. Now, it's crazy to think that somebody would kill for such a meaningless thing, especially a reaction to a Facebook post. Like, where is your brain? Why does this bother you so much where somebody did a laughing emoji on your Facebook post? It forced you to go and murder them. I don't understand it. And the kid was only 18. Let me take you back to the beginning where it all began. It all started when Tanner Watkins updated his profile picture. Isaiah Fitzgerald reacted to it with a laughing emoji. Tanner says, what's funny? Got your bean ass feeling like some type of way, huh? Laughing emoji. Been on my dog since I started FW Shorty. Lame ass inward. Note that Tanner is white. I be on Facebook laughing like a MF. I on care about you. Definitely feel some type of way, clown. Damn, we're really out here posting our cash apps on Facebook. When I went a bet, hell yeah. Yo ugly ass don't even know what going on, but got an opinion. What I feel some way about. Can I get some bread, huh? Ain't shit. I don't know you, the one on my dock, clown. Now, to be honest, I don't really understand what he's saying right there. I don't understand the lingo. He's, he's asking him if he wants to get some bread. I'm not sure what kind of bread he's talking about. Maybe some organic bread. Or maybe he's referring to money. I, I understand that bread can be money sometimes. We're getting bread too. All I did was ha 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 at post and MF's mad. Yo insecurities speak for theyself. And he's not wrong. His insecurities are screaming at the top of their lungs right now. Nah, you always on some funny shit. TF, you even re react to my shit anyways. I'm ready though. Thumbs up. Target. I seen Alyssa on it. Why would I not? Shrug. I don't know if you think I want your girl or what, but I don't. She effed with my little bro. And that must have really set Tanner off because then he went on to say, The F that got to do with it. You feel some type of way? That's my shorty and it's all smoke behind her too. She got me confused for the wrong N-word. Watch and see. My bad. I know I got the wrong. Bruh, you love this internet shit. Let me know when in S. Y'all drop though low. We gone slide later MF still sleep. We say less. Let me know when I'll drop a spot FS. Yen got no wills or some. My shit getting fixed. I got wills. Like I said, MF still sleep. I'm on my way to handle it. MF ain't worth your freedom, fam, but I know you handle your own. Love you. And they were right. It's not worth worth this freedom. It's not worth somebody's life. It's not worth it at all. And what happens next is very sad. And that's because someone lost their life over a little feud on Facebook. It comes down to just a laughing emoji on a social media platform that is in a virtual world. Like, what kind of insecure little shithead do you got to be in order to take someone's life over this? So what happened was, is that they showed up at the park. There was four or five people in three different cars and they had a fight. Tanner loses the fight and gets mad about it. So he decided to try and end Isaiah and his girlfriend's life successfully ending Isaiah's life and putting his girlfriend in critical condition in a hospital now this information comes from a Facebook page where it looks like somebody changed the name of the Facebook page to Tanner Watkins and this Facebook page was a page where they were already posting beforehand I believe and they made this post here that states that words are exchanged in the comments and both parties told each other let's meet up and handle whatever a few hours later, Tanner lost the fight with Isaiah and then decided to end Isaiah's life. And Mandy, Mandy is an 18 year old girl that was with Isaiah at that moment. Luckily, Mandy isn't dead, but at the hospital right now. But Isaiah lost his life. What a time to be alive. Can we sit here and think about this for a moment? How petty, how low some people are to take someone's life, a human life, over something so meaningless, something that doesn't hold any weight. It's a Facebook post. People get so worked up over these internet feuds. It's it's insane to me. And it goes to show you that it's it's getting scary out there. You, you got to be careful what these people are saying in the comments because used to it used to be just internet warriors. And now I feel like it's getting a little bit more extreme where there is crazies out there. Low life, crazy, disgusting people that are willing to go extreme links just to prove a point, to make their stand, to make their ego feel a little bit better. 
And all for what? This young man was only 18. He had so much more to live for. Here you can see a picture of the individuals uh, handcuffed on the side of the road. It looks like Tanner is right there. This other guy looks eerily similar to him too. So I can't really dis distinguish which one is uh, him. And then this looks like the other one that was there with him. Now Tanner didn't do this alone. He uh, did it with another friend. Police confirmed on Wednesday afternoon, April 26th, that 18-year-old Caleb Ramsey from Morehouse and 20-year-old Tanner Watskin from Sykeston were arrested on charges of first-degree murder. 20-year-old Tanner and 18-year-old Caleb threw away their lives over a Facebook laughing emoji. And this is what the uh, police had to say about it. They were communicating through social media and it looked like they were trying to meet up at a location to have a fight. One party was already there, about four people in a vehicle. Two other vehicles arrived, about five other people in those vehicles. We had a couple different rifles that were used in this, a few pistols as well. Court documents state multiple gunshots from AK-47 rifles were fired towards the Chevy Malibu. Vehicles leaving, they got those vehicles stopped, addressed the people inside. There were some that were injured and struck by gunfire. It's unusual to have a type of accident like this in this location, so obviously people were very concerned. So these guys rolled up not with just pistols, but AK-47s. I don't know if they were like part of a gang or something. I don't know exactly what was going on here, but it's scary when you have unhinged people like this that have access to guns. They didn't have a license for these guns. So the question is, is how did they get them? Did they get it through a third party? Maybe they knew somebody had a friend that was selling guns on the side. So this isn't really an issue with the gun law. I think it's more of an issue of being careful of who you are associating yourself with on the internet and engaging with in the comments because it can escalate. It does make me a little bit scared too, putting myself out there, you know, especially with these videos or reacting to comments or replying to comments in my videos or maybe on some other platform. It makes me really kind of think a little bit more about what I'm going to say to this person because I don't want somebody to get so angry that they want to shoot me. Now, in his mugshot, I really feel like he shows no remorse. He looks kind of proud that he did this. He has a little smirk and a smile, like he he's happy he ruined his life and took somebody else's life in the process, which is it's just so sad. At least you can see in the face of Caleb here that it does look like he regrets what he did somewhat. You can see him contemplating what he's just done, his life is ruined, and now he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. But Jesus, Tanner, this man is proud of what he did, and that's scary. Now, I'm sure people have killed for less, but it's just so sad when it comes down to a reaction, a click, a tap of the phone that causes someone to lose their life. Anyways, I thought that was an interesting story. I thought you guys might find it interesting, the aspects of how social media are affecting some insecure little shitheads out there. And be aware that uh, there are people out here willing to take extreme and unhinged action towards you for what you may say in comment sections. So we're not safe just because we're behind keyboards anymore. Hey, I know you're going to go watch another video, so why not go check out this one? It's about Feature Man, a YouTuber that was exposed for being a P-word. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to support more content like this, make sure you check out the links down below. Become a Patreon. Get your names at the end of my videos. And if you're new here, let me know in the comments down below as well as if you're a new sub to the channel. Thank you guys for watching like always, and I'll see you in the next one. You're a love, love criminal.